in um, uh, Tel Aviv University. And um, we, uh, we have, because the reason I think most of you guys know this is because I sometimes come into the workout right after a Zoom meeting. Anyway, uh, we're uh, super concerned about um, uh, depression levels uh, and how, what we're gonna deal with um, after. Super, super concerned. We, we just wrote a paper um, to like the government that kind of prepping them and telling them how to handle the situation right now and, uh, and how we need to um, push people to exercise, right? You guys are, are, you're not the people we're talking about. You guys work out, you continue to work out. That's, we're seeing that all over the world. Like, the people who worked out before are still working out. But the people who didn't work out before are now completely stuck at home and, and the motive, it's not even in their mind. Um, and uh, depression numbers are going up. There is, there is domestic violence. I think we talked about this. And so um, it's an issue. So you're saying, Ken, it's important, like totally, so important. And but even though after like everything will start to return to what it was, it's still going to be different. So I don't know whether it's like your being close to your parents is not going to be the same. And you have to like arrange yourself to a whole new, uh, I don't know how to be with them and, and, and to be alongside with them. Cause you won't be able to, to hug them as, as much as you used to, or to be close to them physically. You have to still like, be a part so, that's, that's weird it's weird it's so weird yeah so that's even add to the depression or i don't know the this whole situation that we have to get used to yeah yeah and the um the elderly also <laughs> there uh there is a whole other level with I mean, there is the, the depression, dealing with the depression in the general population. And then there's um, one of the people on our, in our faculty is uh, um, an expert. She's a professor, uh, an expert in public health for the elderly. And like, this is a whole topic. And it's like, she's super concerned. They're super concerned. We, we just wrote this whole thing about the elderly. Um, and the fact that they're alone and um, just this is, um, is like, uh, um, I'm trying to think of the word in English, just the loneliness uh, in the elderly is actually um, lethal. It's actually lethal, that in itself. So yeah. like there's all this stuff going on as, as a result of this one thing. It's like, it's like, Chen, it's like what you were saying, like, I'm bummed out that I can't, that I'm not going to be able to smush my mom's face like I always do. Um, and then, can, and then I'm thinking, can you imagine what she's feeling? It's like, no, it's what you're saying is, okay, that's with your mom and with your grandmother or with my grandmother. I can, I can even think about it. I mean, it's really, we didn't yeah. even start to think what we're going to do about that. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy stuff. Wow, we are crazy times. Oh, Tamal, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. I just have a really important question for you. Yeah. Um, and this is like, like let's, let's talk about something important for a change, okay? What episode are you watching in Ozark? I'm in the second season now. All right, okay, you're getting there. Because I think that's, that's all. You finished the third season? You finished everything? What? You finished the last season? I finished the last season. No, I mean, I, I had been watching these seasons every time they go out. They come out. Right. I, I was, I, I didn't see, like, Netflix shows before the corona because I just didn't have time. Right. So now <laughs> not for... Um, yeah, so I finished Ozark, 
and um, I just can't wait till you're done. I'm hearing that it's really good. I'm hearing it from a couple of people. Have you been talking about all the stuff All right, all right. Um, oh, we still have one more minute. So I think Michelle's gonna. Hi, Madeline. Hi, hi. Hey. How are you? I'm good. I'm a bit scared. What's coming? <laughs> you guys see each other, Danielle and Madeline? Huh? Oh, yeah, there's some of you. Do you, are you next to each other on your screen? Yeah. Oh, mine. Because uh, yeah. I am looking at the two of you together and it's very cute. <laughs> so guys, uh, just so you know how cool this is, Madeline's in Sweden. <laughs> and Danielle is from Sweden, but she lives right around the corner from me at this point. Right, pretty much. Okay, Maya. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. Well, Alana, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I thought I was on mute this whole time. So sorry if I don't know if I was making No problem. No problem. <laughs> I always forget. That's okay, because that, I end up muting you. Uh, so you really don't have to worry. Megan! How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Hey. Hi, you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. You really are one of the people, one of maybe the only people in the world who makes me laugh so much. I'm so happy. You know what makes me laugh as well? Pigeons. No, the cookie, the cookie I had from milk yesterday, it really made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, by the way, I don't know, did Hila, did, do you know that Hila, that you and I were Hila's trigger and she drove all the way from the other side of town to get the cookie? You know, I, I can't imagine because the way that you made it, you know, sound like you actually, you know, like... <laughs> Like how you did with the hand, you know, like uh, it's almost like face big, right. you know, that, yeah, yeah. That but made me, yeah. But I'm right. It's not, well, I don't remember that your face are that small. Like we have, <laughs> like, it's not that big. It's not that big. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm right regarding the quality. The quality is amazing. But it's like the palm of a, of a hand, like even less. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, now we need to get everybody over here from uh, Sweden and the States. And you guys just need to try out and tell us if it's the palm of the hand or the face. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Uh, what? That sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come over there for a cookie. <laughs> uh, definitely. And we're waiting for you guys. Um, hi, Michelle. I hi. Once, then I know we're ready to go. <laughs> Literally waiting for you, and I was like, okay, now we're ready. Perfect. Good. So, um, today is day 13, and um, you, uh, you guys know I'm working so hard. I, like, I want this studio up last week, but I want the studio by the time we're done. Uh, so that you have full access to whatever and that we can keep doing the challenges. Um, and it's, of course, paid, right? Because uh, I am going broke in like five seconds. So, um, and, and just so you guys understand, when I say it costs money, it costs, oh, oh now we're ready to go. Hen and Yamal just joined us. Okay, so when I say it costs money. Um, it costs exactly two lattes a month. Okay, so so I and and that's true. Ten dollars um, a month. So uh, I I my mission is like exactly what I'm doing now. The fact that um, I'm saying I'm I'm basing everything I'm doing on 
And um, when I have this item going so that I can keep going, I have to ask for money, right? Because I have to eat. But it's the point as minimum as possible and really bring the latest research and uh, science and everything uh, that works, right? And just, you know, open it up for more and so we can keep going. Um, so if that doesn't happen in tomorrow or the next day, I'm to go crazy with the, with the company and breathing and meditate. Um, that's one. And the other thing, okay. So the other thing, but you can unmute yourself if you want to ask or say or whatever, or chat or the other thing um, I wanted to say is one of you lovely people, um, really, really lovely people um, has been writing to me about like what's next. And, um, and so uh, I was going to leave the uh, group that we have right now on uh, Facebook until Wednesday and the, the, the challenge finishes tomorrow. So that would mean that you would have access and we chat or whatever until Wednesday. And then you can only see the videos on the site. Um, what I decided after she wrote to me and, and she said, only until Wednesday. <laughs> so so um, what I decided, and this is like, I love this. I love it. So I decided that um, I'm just never, ever going to close the group. And um, uh, these videos are yours forever and ever and ever. Um, but it, it is kind of like a sacrifice because it does mean that I keep it on YouTube. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll update you if anything changes. We'll see if it's uh, too much of a sacrifice. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, I, I would like you to have the videos forever and ever and ever. Um, that being said, you know I like uh, when you guys change up your workouts all the time. So I, I mean, Betzalel has done several of my workouts um, that I have written out, especially for him. He's done them several times, um, but I'm, I'm very much like, move on, move on. Uh, and not not because it's not good for your body. Repetition is great for your body. Uh, mostly because um, I don't want you to get bored. I get very bored. I cannot train the same workout again and again. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> Just the idea drives me crazy. So that's that. Before we begin day 13, would anybody like to say, ask, comment? Okay. Michal, um, Actually, would like to say, I, I, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good, uh, buffer to say that it is through quarantine and any other uh, period the best investment absolutely thank you thank you back to un back to unmute Betzalel is uh okay i so finished my sentence i was i was gonna not say it he's uh definitely one of the reasons um we're still going He's uh, definitely um, emotional support and other support, and he's one of the reasons we're still going. Um, all right, guys. So, are we good? Can you hear me? All right. Um, I can't tell you that it's going to be easy. I can't. So, uh, so, let's just do this. Let's just smash this. Um, let me do this again because for some reason I see that not everyone's muted. And of course, I'm always looking at the chats and I'm always uh, checking to see that everyone's good. Um, so if you manage to look at the workout uh, today, then um, you will see that you have a four minute plank to begin with. It doesn't mean that, so I know not all, I, I know some of you actually like the idea of not looking at the workout because you just don't want to deal with it. And I love that, by the way. So either way it works. 
but it's not really a four minute plank and that's it. It's a four minute, it's a Tabata, which is four minutes, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This is our warm up actually. And um, the whole point is during those 10 second breaks, you're not really resting, you're just holding the plank. So it will end up being a four minute plank. That's just the way it is. So I'm going to do this, get my, roll out my mat, rolling out my mat and moving my huge glass of water over here. And we are going to start the Tabata. So the first thing, let me just show you real quick. The first thing we're gonna do um, is a pedaling plank. So um, this, that's it, just stay steady and we just pedal away, okay? So super steady, we have three seconds before we begin. So let's get into that plank on our forearms. Three, two, go. So we are here pedaling it out. And then right after this, ooh, I need to do, I just keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm just wanting to do this so that I don't um, have to stop later. Keep going. So now we hold the plank, we just hold. And what we're gonna do is alternating commando. So if you do need to put your knees down, that's absolutely fine. And in two seconds, we're just gonna go right into the alternating commando. So it's right, left, right, left, and then immediately left, right. If you guys do this many times in the last couple of days, your job is to keep your abs super tight, your pelvis aligned, and we're gonna keep going. And let's just hold that plank. Whether you're on your forearms or hands, it does not matter. And in five seconds, we're opening up to a side-to-side -side plank on your forearms or your hands. So we open up and then we slowly go to the other side. So it's a light warm-up, but the cool thing is that your abs really don't stop uh, working the whole time, the whole four minutes. Three, two, one, and then we hold the plank. And then from here, we're gonna do a shifting plank. You can stand your hands, you can stand your forearms. The shifting plank is just gonna be side to side. So we go side to side without dropping your shoulder blades, without releasing your belly or your back. Pelvic floor is tight. Keep it going. Keep it going. And now we start from the very beginning. We're gonna go for a pedaling plank. You can go onto your forearms, you can go onto your hands. As little movement as possible in the knee, in the back, and keeping it only in the knee, trying not to lift the butt up. Keep it going, 10 more seconds. Coming out of the shoulder blades, breathing through. Three, two, stay in the plank. Stay in the plank. We're gonna go for the alternating commandos. So it's up, up, down, down for me because I'm on my hands. Down, down, up, up, let's go. So one arm leads the way and then the other arm. And your job is to stay super steady. So my uh, wrists have had it. That means that I'm gonna end this on my forearms and I'm gonna continue on my forearms and we hold. So we're gonna hold here and then we go right into the side to side plank. If you need to rest at any point, I, I, I want you to try not to actually rest. Put your knees down, but activate your core. So put your knees down and modify your plank so that you really work on getting that endurance, that core endurance up. Exhale when you open. And let's stay here for a shifting plank in just five seconds. Stay super steady. Two, one. And now we're going side to side without dipping the pelvis. Woo! My head is going to continue my neck. I'm gonna come out of the shoulder blades. Abs are tight. You should be pretty warm by now. You're at the end of your warm up. Three and 
release. Well done on your four minute plank. I don't take that lightly. All right, now we have four minutes of running. So um, similar to what we just did, okay? So instead of uh, planking for those 10 seconds, you're gonna jog it out for those 10 seconds. So we begin with butt kicks. This time we're going to um, kind of take it to, to a now warm up level. We're gonna really go right into work work. So, in three seconds, we've got butt kicks. Two, one, let go. Butt kicks. Trying to get the heel way up. Remember, if you are not jumping, so if this is what you're doing, and this is great, okay? You never have to jump. You never have to jump. I didn't mean to turn that into a song, I just found out. So, this is my jog. This is what I'm doing on a 10 second rest. If it's too much for you, you can march it out, but I don't want you to stop moving. And then from here, we've got high knees. So knees go way up. Soft landing, if you're not doing this, you're doing this. You're still doing the high knees. You can really get your heart rate up without the run. Five seconds. And then we just jog it out, jog it out. So we are not really letting the heart rate drop. In three seconds, we've got our scissors. Let's go. Scissors. So if you don't want to do this, you're going to tap back super fast. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, jog it out. Last exercise before we repeat everything. We're not stopping. We've got speed jacks. So I want you to go as fast as you can with the jumping jacks. If this is too much, you go right into a shuffle. Forget the jacks. Breathe through 10 seconds, and then we do the four exercises again. Three, two, one. Jog it, jog it. Starting the butt kicks in four seconds. Let's go. Butt kicks. Pushing through, breathing through. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, jog it out. Jog it out. Listen, if your calves aren't slightly on fire right now, then I'm jealous of you. High knees. Get those knees way up. Way up. Abs should be on. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, jog it out. Oh, my calves. Oh, my calves. Scissors coming up. Remember, you can do this instead of the scissors. Let's go. I want you to speed up here. Push through. Bounce up. I just remembered that I wanted to ask you that if she did yesterday a uh, workout. Forgot to ask, and it was on my mind. So, <laughs> okay, listen, that's totally not. Speed jacks as fast as you can. Um, you know, even if you don't do it ever, I still want you to listen to the first few minutes. That's all. And release. <sighs> Good job. Good job. Good, good. Getting your water. That makes me happy. Okay, the rest of the workout is very straightforward. No breaks like this, no uh, Tabatas. We just have uh, an endurance workout for core and cardio. 
Uh, we have 15, uh, 15 exercises, 60 seconds on. I'd like to make this smaller so I can see the whole. Hold on. 60, 10. Uh, 15 exercises, three times through. I think I just did something very good. Excellent. Okay. Side plank rotation hold. Let me just, uh, uh, you can do this on your um, uh, knee, on your right knee, like so. Okay. And then we would hold this. What you're going to do, uh, if possible, is go onto your uh, feet and you're going to hold the rotation. And then right after that, the same arm that was stabilizing you is going to lead the way in the commandos that we have warmed up for. Okay, we've already done them. Uh, but except this time, it's going to be just that one arm, um, which means that at any point, if you need to go onto your knees, you do. And the other thing is if you if the holding rotation is too much, okay, try not to take a break, just open up and then get back in. Okay, and then you can just rotate through the whole thing. All right, 60 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We no longer do 60, 15 in this group, and we begin in eight seconds. Right? So I don't know if you guys remember, but last week we were doing. 16-15, we no longer do that anymore. It's too easy for us. We are now only in 60-10. So I started with the elongated plank, then I worked my way into the spiral and I'm just holding without putting my forearm on the floor. I did have to release my top leg to put it on the floor. And I'm always pressing out of my shoulder blade I'm twisting, I'm looking back. I want your right forearm digging into the floor. And of course you can bend the bottom leg. Keep it going. We have 20 more seconds, come out of the shoulder blade. 15 seconds. So this is the, the point here, don't fall into that shoulder blade. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. I need you to rest that arm. I'm gonna flip over just so that uh, I see you better. The right arm is leading the way with the commandos. We have warmed up specifically for this. Um, so I'm already gonna glue my legs together. I'm not even gonna mess with, um, with seeing where I am. I know my balance is good. I know I've got this exercise. So I just go right in. If you need to, you bring your legs out or if you just do the same thing on your knees, please keep in mind that it's the same arm, right arm leading the way. <sighs> Breathing through. Remember that exhale on the way up, we've talked about it, makes a difference. Push through. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, that right arm is on fire. 10 seconds. And release. Right arm. Right arm. Getting ready for the side plank rotation hold on the left. And uh, just like before, if you need to, you rotate and come into a side plank. Otherwise, we're here. We open up that plank and then we go into the rotation, pressing your forearm into the floor, coming out of your shoulder blade. I'm in the rotation, but I keep looking at you guys. But I'm in there. Breathe through. Nothing in this at this point is more important than the pressure of the forearm into the floor, coming out of the shoulder blade. Breathe through. Oh, 20 seconds. This arm is a lot harder for me. Goes back to our conversation about how not asymmetrical, how not symmetrical we are. 
Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Rest your arms, really rest them because you have the commandos now. Commandos, left arm leads the way. Let's go. Up, up. So I forgot for a second that I want to squeeze the legs together. I want to squeeze them. I want to push through. Keep working. So if you start losing neutral spine, right? If you start dropping here, this is neutral, then you drop to your knees and keep going. Don't push through when your abs are no longer protecting your back. <sighs> keep it up, keep it going. 20 seconds. <sighs> keep it going, the closer your legs are together, the harder it is. If you feel like you can play around with that, maybe not this round, maybe the next round, then try. Oh, let's rest our arms. We're going for a quarter burpee elevated, um, a quarter burpee elevated and push up. So I want us to all begin without the elevation. So you can walk and then go into a push up, or you can walk, you can do this with me, or put your knees down and push up, or quarter burpee and push up. And if you want, you're gonna do this elevated with me. Okay, you just keep going. You just keep going with your version. And then if you want, you're gonna join me for a quarter burpee and then a push up. <sighs> but I need to go back a little bit. Maybe this will be good. <sighs> so I'm gonna jump it up again. Jump it and then push up. Let's release. Whoo! Sit and stand. Uh, so let's all start. Um, I'm going to start with my higher chair. Sit and stand. Right leg is up. Left leg is going to be stabilizing. And you can hold on to a wall. So you can do it like this. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Or if this is too much for you, you can flip that chair over or use your counter or table or whatever. And you're just going to do this. So you're going to go a lot less down or even put one leg over the other. Okay, so whatever you need to do to modify, you have so many options. And if possible, you're really going to do that full sit and stand. <sighs> Trying to keep that right leg super active. Next time, next round, I'm actually going to try to sit a little bit lower. Okay. Other side. Other side. Three, two, one. Either doing what I'm doing or exactly what, whoop, don't fall like me. Don't do what I'm doing. Or you're doing what I'm doing and holding on to the wall. Or you are going to do that super modified version of just holding on and slightly going down or putting one leg over the other. So these are going to be our options for the whole three rounds. So please be attentive to your knees. Um, if you do feel your knees a little bit, this is the one thing that you guys are already pros at. We've talked about it so much. And because we train every day, then you've, and I think I dug a hole in your head about this. That right heel is the one digging into the floor. That's the one that really protects you. That heel, not the toes. Always shifting your weight back. Three, two, and release. Okay, we're gonna do a roll, I have to take my shoes off for this. We're gonna do a roll up to stand, um, or sit up to balance, or sumo squats. 
Okay, so there are several versions here. Sumo squats is the most modified, most appropriate uh, for pregnant ladies. Then you can just join me for a balance sit up if you want. And it's just this. We've done this several times and I have been prepping you for the following. So either you're gonna do this or maybe you can join me and try to roll yourself up to standing. Okay, if that's too much, you just do anything else. So if you are doing your roll to standing, I want you to really sit down slow and then boom, and try to keep your feet parallel to each other. Slow on the sit and then boom. By the way, if you need to help with your hands, do that, but don't use one hand more than the other. That's a problem, okay? Both hands and picking yourself up. There you go, I missed it. Two, one. Okay, next up, um, we have a vertical leap. I might just end up doing the workout without the shoes, we'll see. So vertical leap, either you're gonna join me for this and that's it, but maybe you can jump. So decide what you wanna do, go, go, go. The landing is not like a jumping squat. The vertical leap is about explosive energy so i don't want as many as possible i want as high as possible and that felt absolutely horrendous for me without my shoes but i'm uh, okay i'm gonna be super gentle i don't uh, i can't watch the clock go and not work 15 seconds 10 seconds focusing on the soft landing, your abs are tight. <sighs> Using your arms to elevate yourself. Three, two, good. Next up, we have a sprawl to a vertical leap. Same exact exercise, except we hit the floor every time. I forget what's the okay. So, sprawl to vertical leap. So, I take my time. I take my time. Sprawl to a vertical leap. If you are not doing this, you are walking and then boom, stand without the leap. Uh, I really want you guys to see how parallel my legs are because I, I take that very seriously. So no matter what, super parallel, right? So no matter if it's back, forth, or the leap, or the landing, parallel. Don't let those knees cave in. Be explosive on every lift, whether you're jumping or not. Oh, good. So those of you who are modifying, you're gonna get into a bird dog for the same side. Bird dog to the same side. Everybody else, please get onto your back for a leg drop with your hands behind your back. Or if possible, like me, you might want to take your hands out and work a little bit harder. Please don't take your hands out from under your back if you have back issues. And even more so, you might want to bend your knees if it's really too tough for your back. That's fine. I'm flexing my feet strongly throughout. I'm not going up a lot easy right now, so I'm not flexing and pointing. I'm staying super flexed, pressing my heels down, and then pressing my toes up. So I always think of it as a press rather than a pull. Good. Those of you who are modifying, you switch side with the bird dog, opposite hand and leg. And uh, everyone else is just gonna join me for another leg drop, except your hands are gonna be behind your head and you're gonna be in a crunch. Go, 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 guys. Go, go, I'm just checking. Okay. So um, we're here, shoulder blades way up, or if you're modifying a little bit, you're here. 
And those of you who are super modifying, you are now doing the other side bird dog. Try to really flatten the low back into the floor. Every time you lower your legs, exhale up. Really exhale up. Notice that I'm not saying inhale down. You're probably just breathing through on the way down. But that exhale up is going to really help you. Keep it going. Keep it going. Two, one, and release. Those of you who are modifying, you're going into hovering knees like so. You're just going to hover your knees and press the floor away from you. Everybody else, you're going to go into, ooh, um, you're going to flip over onto your forearms for uh, scorpions. So in a plank, right knee touches the right elbow and then slow on the way back. Now, what you are doing now is one version and that's fine. And next time, maybe, only maybe, and only if you're like trusting yourself in your back, maybe you can do this with your feet on the chair or on whatever it is that you're elevating with. <sighs> Exhale, boom. Always coming out of the shoulder blade. 15 more seconds. Breathe through. Five seconds. Don't give up here. And release. Nice. Next up, we have a pulsing crunch. Uh, modification. You can sit any way you want. And sit like this. Uh, cross on a chair. And your job, okay, if you're super modifying, do that. I want you to close your elbows and just really open without moving anything else. Everyone else has open elbows and you're pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. I don't care what you're doing, say which version, or maybe you have to just take a break. I want you to really think about your pelvic floor here. Constantly work it. It's the sphincters, remember that, it's not this. You're not gonna lift your butt up. I see that all the time, all the time. I say call it four and then everybody goes like this. It's not it. And it's a very legitimate question. And I love when people ask me what it is. So it's inside, I can't see it. We have 10 more seconds and I want you to stay in the work, pulsing your crunch, pulsing your crunch. And release. Moving on, uh, last exercise before a break. Those of you who are modifying, you're gonna stand up and get into a sumo. I'll get you in a second. Otherwise, I want you guys to go into a halfway sit up. So we're here, stop and go down. And of course, you can bring your hands forward. So you're here, stop, go down. And then if you're not doing this exercise, you come up, you drop into a sumo and stay here. Press your knees back and just your heels. Just your heels, only heels. Keep it going. Keep it going. So you never come up into a full seated position, so you're never stopping the work, right? We just flow from here to here, and immediately we just keep going. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Don't stop. Don't stop. Get those shoulder weights up and release. Okay. Sip of water if you need it. I definitely need it. You have fifteen seconds before uh, the next the next round, which is going to be exactly the same thing, except for those uh, small nuances like. Um, like uh, I'm gonna sit and stand on a lower uh, piece of equipment um, on that one leg, okay? Uh, of course, you can also modify the other way. So if you um, found that really hard, you're feeling your knee, then you can do one of these versions, right? Holding on and then that, rather than sitting and standing. So you need to do what's best for you. You know the exercise, that's what's good. 
Okay. Um, we're moving on to see if I'm even going to be able to do the lower version. Uh, so we start with that side plank rotation hold. Um, again, if the hold is too much, then you just keep opening and closing, opening and closing. Um, I'm going to start on my left this time. So uh, I actually advise the same, you do the same, starting on the other side. So I started on my right before, and now I'm going to start on my left. And we begin, so with the hold in the rotation, we begin in the side plank, then we rotate in 10 seconds. I have to start the timer. Start the timer, set. Okay. So get onto the floor. You can already get into that. Uh, prop yourself up on your forearm. And let's begin. So we start with the, that side plank hold, and then we slowly go into a steady rotation. And then we just hold. And your job, really so important, is to press your form into the floor and come out of that left shoulder blade. If at any point you need to drop your bottom knee, you do that. If at any point you need to make it a little bit more of a shallow rotation rather than going all the way, that's fine. Another option is actually to just put your right hand gently on the floor. That might help. Okay, so you guys really need to uh, do what's best for you. Except the part that we don't have, uh, we can't negotiate about is the pressure of the forearm into the floor. That really is saving you from uh, hurting that muscle of the shoulder blade. Three, two, and then I'm gonna uh, really rest that left arm before I lead uh, the commandos with that arm. All right, so uh, I'm squeezing my legs together. Up, up, down, down. Now, um, because you guys have really worked on this exercise, um, and I, I feel like if you really did put it in, then it might even be relatively easy by now. So if that is the case, you have a job to do. Not only get your legs closer together, but you might want to bring your hand not only under your shoulder, but maybe even further back. So. The more forward your hand is when you come up, so if I put it here, it's easier. So I'm going to bring it under my shoulder or even closer. And then you're going to go deeper into your triceps. Don't do it if you feel like it's too, just the thought of it. Don't, if the thought of it is too much, you don't do it. 10 seconds. Just because you're in a plank and you're, it's your shoulder and your back, so I don't want you to mess with it until you're confident. I'm really going to rest my arms here. That was tough. I'm going to get ready for the other side for a side plank rotation hold on your right. Let's go. So I open and then I rotate and then I hold. And I'm constantly, this is good because I get to see you guys. And I'm constantly pressing the forearm into the floor. I'm constantly pressing out of my shoulder blade. I'm really working at it here. If your neck is bothering you, you can keep it neutral. Okay, you don't have to look back with your neck. So every time you get tired and you kind of sink, I want you to come out of that shoulder blade. You can even put your knee down, but it's so important that you just keep rising up. 19 seconds. Ooh, getting a little tough for me. Nine seconds. Breathing through, three, two, one. Wow, that, that was tough for me. So we've got up, up, down, down. The right arm leads the way. Okay, let's go. Right arm leads the way, commandos. I'm gonna glue my legs together and I'm gonna really try, this is already really hard for me, but I'm gonna really try to get the hand not only under the shoulder, but even further in so that 
I work the triceps a little bit harder. Triceps is the back of your arm. There are all kinds of names for that muscle. I, uh, I really don't like the names, actually. And I hear it all the time, and I, and I hear it by uh, like super duper professional trainers uh, that, I, that I trust and believe in them. And I don't know why uh, they say that sort of thing. <sighs> and release. So if you guys don't know, like some people call it our chicken wings, I think. I don't even know if I'm uh, making a mistake. But anyway, I think, I think that's gross. Uh, but that's my opinion. All right. Uh, core to burpee to a push-up, right? So in, out, push-up. I'm going to go elevated. And of course, you can walk the whole thing and even perform the push-up on your knees. So I'm going to start with the push-up, and then I'm going to drop down, boom, up. My issue with the wrist just now. My my good old wrist. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe. <sighs> Can't see the timer. I need to see the timer. There we go again. Okay, next up. So we had the quarter uh, burpee. We're gonna sit and stand on one leg. Uh, sit and stand on one leg, uh, whatever version is best for you. I'm going to try to go lower. Let's see if I can go lower. Let's see. I'm not, I'm not sure at all. <sighs> I, don't, I don't actually think I can. Oh, so this is, my, this is my big thing that I've been working on since I gave birth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit so that I can get stronger here. So I'm going to keep my, and I'm breaking this down for you so you can see uh, so if you need to do this or want to do this. Uh, my left heel, I'm pressing it into the floor and I'm working through my right. And then, and then I lift my left leg when I can. Then I slowly go down. I'm going to support with my hand. And then let's switch. So uh, you're seeing me really struggle with one of my exercises that, that's hard for me. I haven't gotten back to this yet. And this is exactly how I build it up. So let's begin. I'm really trying to focus on that left leg. <sighs> yeah, I'm struggling. This is really hard for me. And I used to be able to do this on the floor before I gave birth, before I was super pregnant. So now I'm going to help myself and the slowness we talked about this yesterday a lot the slowness is what's important that's what's going to build me up and finding my sweet spot <sighs> the sweet spot is where my heel is digging in and i'm not uh kind of jumping into it it's where i have balance <sighs> Ooh. Oh, wow. And I'm really going all out with this one. I'm, I so am going to go back to doing my pistol squat. All right, next up, we're going to roll to stand. Um, that rolling to standing that we did before. And if you are like me, you're going to have to take your shoes off. And you are, if you are modifying, you are doing your sumos or your sit up to balance. So, uh, just a reminder, the sit up to balance is this, right? And you just, that's it. And that's good. So roll to stand. Uh, also here, I'm keeping my feet very parallel to each other. Parallel, digging my heels into the floor, just like I always talk about. And on the way down, 
I become really compact, really compact, super tight abs. <sighs> 10 seconds. Five seconds. And release. Getting ready for our vertical leaps. Vertical leaps. Okay, so you either go down and up, boom, or remember height, soft landing. That's that's the key. Rather than speed, height. I want each one to be exhausting, right? So each time you give it your all, you wouldn't be able to do them fast. That's the that's the idea. Elongated back, boom, using your arms to help. Uh, by the way, earlier I said to you, oh, I don't like doing this without shoes, but the truth is, when I work my core super, super tight, and I'm lifting my pelvic floor, I'm fine, actually. And you can probably hear the landing is much softer, which just proves my point of everything I talk about. <sighs> Right, I'm in much more control. Four seconds. Okay, uh, next round I'm gonna speed that one up. Uh, towards the end, sprawl to vertical leap. So walk it and stand or jump it to vertical leap. Also here, we're not sprinting. Of course, if it's really, really easy for you, then you need to up the pace, right? You should be working your max. Don't waste a minute, right? A minute of this is a lot of work, and if you can get through the minute easily, then you're wasting a minute. Soft landing. When you land like this, and that's it, you're stopping the landing, and it goes right into your knee and your back. 10 seconds. Good. Good, good. Getting ready for leg drops. If you're modifying, you're doing the bird dog same side. If you're slightly modifying your hand will be behind your back. Okay, so either one. We go low and up. Remember that I am choosing to keep my uh, feet flexed. Uh, just so that I'm, I constantly feel like I'm pushing my way down from my heels, but I'm also pushing my way up as though there's a big sponge coming out of the wall with my toes. I'm pushing the sponge with my toes. If you can be super duper accurate, then you're gonna lift the pelvic floor on the up. If it's driving you crazy, then just try to be aware of it. If your back is hurting, you hop right onto your hands and you can even lower the range of motion. <sighs> So, modification, you switch the side of the bird dog. Um, and the rest of us are going to go into a crunch with a leg drop. So, your hands are at the base of your skull, shoulder blades way up. Same exact exercise, except if you are doing the semi modification, you can just bend your legs to try to stay in the crunch. Okay? Uh, the bird dog. Um, is an exercise that I repeat a lot uh, also in my most advanced classes uh, as maybe a warm up or as leading into something else. I mean, you guys have done it in the strength flow. Uh, the reason is the opposite hand leg, that's the bird dog. The reason is because it looks innocent. It is one of the best exercises you can do for the health and maintenance of your back. And it is actually an amazing core exercise 
it gets, it gets into your shoulder blades and you shouldn't work on your pelvic floor. And um, if you don't feel all that, if it's not like amazing, then you're doing something wrong. Okay, so we can also talk about it. Uh, so if you're modifying, you're doing the um, hovering knees, the hovering knees, you can do it on your forearms or your toes or hands, or you're gonna go with me to a scorpion. Now, earlier I said I'm gonna elevate it, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You can just do this, the regular scorpion, you do not have to elevate it. I'm gonna stay low on my forearms, and I'm gonna go for an elevated scorpion. <laughs> And hang out there for a second. If you're doing it with me, I want you to hang out and then up. Hang out for a second and then up, coming out of the shoulder blade. So, like what I just said is also true for the bird dogs. Come out of the shoulder blade. Five seconds. Holy mama. And we are moving on to the pulsing crunch. The, uh, okay, so those of you who are modifying, stay anywhere you wanna be and just focus on open and close. And then if you uh, can, you're just pulsing your crunch. Okay, just pulse your crunch on your back, hands at the base of your skull, and you're just lifting those shoulder blades up. Lifting the shoulder blades, pulse, pulse. One thing that um, it is kind of like a mindfulness meditation thing. When I when I do this sort of work and my abs are burning up and I'm just like trying to stay in the work and like, oh my God, I don't know if I can go any further. Um, when I think about what I'm doing, like just nothing else. I'm just thinking rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis, closing the space, it really helps. It really, really does help. Then you're kind of uh, avoiding that burn and just literally like, what is my body doing right now? Uh, also, when you think about the muscle that you're working, when I lift very heavy weights, I'm just thinking about the muscle until, until I can't go anymore. So those of you who are modifying, get into a sumo and lift your heels, staying steady. And otherwise, we're here and then down. Up and then down. Nice. Okay. Sorry, you guys. And your hand can absolutely be here. That's fine. Woo! Okay. My abs are getting tired. And again, I'm like considering, I'm just thinking about my balance here. It's not about speed, it's about control every single time. A short break, drink of water if you need it, and then we're going to do our last round. I'm going to let you guys go. Last round, I'm going to quickly put these shoes on. The first half of the uh, workout, I cannot do without the shoes. Um, all right, I'm gonna start that timer. Hope you guys are okay. You look okay. Um, in 10 seconds, we're gonna do the rotating hold. So the timer's already going. Taking me a second, you guys can start. Uh, I don't care what side you start on. Whatever you think is gonna be stronger and make it through the next four minutes, that's what you should start on, okay? So, you are in your rotation, holding steady. I'm gonna make up for my uh, lost time here. Uh, when the beat goes off, I'm actually gonna stay in the rotation. Um, the reason I have to take my shoes off is because I, I still can't do the um, roll to stand with the uh, with shoes on, just can't. So I'm gonna make up for my lost time but in, when you, the beep is, uh, goes off and you guys take a rest and really rest that arm. 
Breathe through. Try to lift the pelvic floor throughout. Try to think about your inner thighs and kind of squeeze them together here, even if your bottom leg is bent. So you guys can take a rest. I'm going to hold it here for a few more seconds. And then I'm going to take a little rest here too. And then that same arm that was holding us, that's the arm that's going to be uh, uh, lifting and lowering us up in the commandos. Up, up, down, down. Now, uh, I like constantly making each round a little bit harder, so I, I do these little modifications. I'm going to speed up a tiny bit, not for the sake of the speed, but what I keep doing and the change of the arm and the change of the legs, I keep trying to um, make myself a little bit uh, more wobbly, like I have to work my balance a little bit more. So I'm really trying to go up, up, down, down, and then immediately no break. Going right in. Because this is really super core. Any little thing can really get your pelvis to move around or kind of undermine your abs. And I want to push through that. Whew. Right arm or whatever you're doing. I'm on it right. Okay, we open and we rotate and we hold. Coming out of the shoulder blade. I probably should have started with my right hand. Keep it going, keep rotating, keep lifting your booty up, keep pressing your forearm into the floor. Breathe. That breathing, guys, that's what's going to save you. Oh. Think about the rotation. Think about coming out of the shoulder blade. If your neck is hurting, then you can move around. You don't have to stay with your neck uh, in the twist. Oh, if you're like me and you're getting tired, then you might be sinking. And I want you to either put your knee down, okay, which is fine, or uh, just keep pushing through because the sinking here, that's non negotiable. Woo! I'm going to just completely rest this arm for a sec. Whew. All right, uh, I'm going to focus on that core smashing. So I'm going to squeeze my legs together. And I'm going to place my right hand close to me, up, up, that same arm that was holding me, right? So rather than under my shoulder or forward, I'm going to just keep making it harder. And I'm going to try not to pick up my face just a little bit. Wow. Oh, boy. My, my, that's not even an outside cry. I was just... After my body just made with sounds. Oh. Oh. 15 seconds. Oh. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Oh, oh. and release. Release. Oh, no, I think my baby's having another tough night. Oh, boy. All right, guys. Uh, getting ready for the elevated burpee to push up. So you guys do that in the quarter. So you can do the quarter burpee and then push up. Or if you're uh, like me and trying to torture yourself completely and entirely, then let's do this. <sighs> Walk it or jump it. You never have to. And my name is never have to jump. Oh, oh guys, my, my arms aren't going to hold me up anymore. Oh, they're not going to hold me up anymore. That's all successful failure. Uh, if you want to ask me about that, then please do. It's called successful failure, which just happened. Textbook, by the way. It's not my name for it. Oh my body. Oh my poor body. Okay. 
getting ready for the sit and stand. Um, so remember, I'm doing that super like super modified, but pretty intense because I'm trying to work my way up from doing it on a chair. So I'm kind of like in between. So my right leg is coming forward to help me out. And I'm on my left, on my left. And I'm really taking my time with each one. You guys see me, I'm, oh, I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow from this, right? Because my body hasn't done, done it at this level in a long time. And I'm gonna hold on and go down slow. So I hold down. And I go down slow, but the hold on is super delicate. I'm making my leg do the work. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Guys, all the grunting and stuff, I'm, I'm not controlling it. We switch, we switch in 10 seconds. I'm not controlling the grunting. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow, wow. Okay, other side. This is that tough exercise that I was able to just bang out. See, I'm just getting up as hard. Bang out. And then once you get a really big pregnancy belly, whoo, oh, you can no longer bang it out. And it's been hard for me since. Oh. I love that you guys are seeing me struggle through this because um, I get to really show you how to work your way up from like the next. So if you're, if you feel like you're not ready to give up the chair, it's probably like me. I'm not ready, but I do want to get to the lower chair. The only way to do that is to actually work with it and modify through. Holy moly. Okay, we have our roll to stand. I'm getting rid of my shoes. Roll to stand or sumos or a balanced sit up. Let's go. Let's do this. Remember, slow on the way down. Control your way up and down. I want parallel feet, parallel knees. The way down should be shifting your weight back to your heels. Back to your heels. Ooh. Pelvic floor is lifting. Every time you go up and when you go down, try to contract the pelvic floor. That's not very easy to do when you go down, but it helps you control. Uh. Mm. 15 seconds. Uh. Becoming as small as you can. Get the space between your heels and your butt on the way up. That's actually the key to all this. This, that tiny space right here. Good. Getting ready for the vertical leap. Vertical leap or just uh, in kind of an explosive stand. Let's go. So I'm going to gradually pick up my pace during the minute because I want to really push my max, and I feel like if I stay with this, just focusing on the how high I'm going, it's not going to be hard enough for me. So I'm going to try to really just go from one to the next. My landing is very, very soft. I'm constantly shifting my weight back. I'm using my hands every time because it's still an explosive exercise and still focus on how high I can go. So if you're with me, try to push through now. Oh, my legs. Five seconds. Wow. Sprawl to vertical leap. Sprawl to vertical leap. Guys, five minutes and you're done. Hang in there. Sprawl to vertical leap. Walk or jump. Wow. These 
executive exercises that just did are smashing me. case for you, either hands or even make a very small range of motion. Totally fine. And I don't want you to think that I've never suffered from back issues. Okay. I have. I know the deal. Protect your back. I trust myself enough to do this. That's the whole idea. I don't know if you can hear my daughter, but she's not happy. She does not like sending the things away from me. Wow. All right. Rest. Those of you who are modifying here, you just switch sides. And if you're joining me for the crunch leg drop, we do this now either with leg, legs like this or legs the way uh, straight up. Okay, whatever is best for you. I'm still flexing the whole time. Pressing my heels down, pressing my toes back. I'm trying to really stay steady here with my shoulder blades. So my elbows are open. My shoulder blades are completely off the floor. Oh, I'm really pushing myself here. I'm like touching my heels to the floor for a second. And up, but I wouldn't do this if I was concerned. But if I thought that this would hurt my back, but I'm also not rushing through anything. I'm going slow. Two, last one. Wow. Next up. We have the elevated low scorpion. So it's low because it's on your forearms, elevated with your feet on a chair. Um, if you're not doing this, you're doing the hovering knees, right? Hovering knees. I'm gonna get my feet up. I'm gonna go slow motion, guys. So my forearms on the, on the floor. And then I slow mo my way through. Slow mo. Wow, 30 seconds. Uh-oh, I hope my timer didn't. 21 seconds. My timer almost forgot what it's supposed to do. 10 seconds, just breathe through. Breathe through. Ooh, wow. Okay, okay, we're almost done. We are almost done. Wow, we have the pulsing crunch. So if you're modifying, you're gonna open the whole time, or if you're just crunching your way up, tiny little baby pulses, and then, uh, and then we have that last exercise of the halfway. So let's do this. So remember, what we're focusing on is not my abs, my abs. I want us to just think ribcage to pelvis, lifting the pelvic floor. You have two minutes left and you're done with today's workout. It was a major core workout, major. We got our obliques in, we got our shoulder blades in. We got our 
rectus abdominis, which is your six pack. We're doing it right now. Really exhale completely to get that extra crunch in. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, we got that halfway set up. And then what we're gonna do is try and keep our arms by our ears. If you're modifying, you're doing the sumo heel raise, okay? And then if possible, you're gonna do it like this with me. So the hammer on behind my head and you're not forward. I'm actually reaching for the ceiling and then down, rolling. 40 seconds and you're done with today's workout. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ugh. Even if you were like me and you needed a second, take a second, but don't really rest. Try to keep in the work. So if this was my rest, right? My, my shoulders were still off the floor. 10 seconds. I'm gonna stretch our core. Woo! Five seconds. And then from here, I want you to release completely, dropping your knees over to the left and turning your head to the right. And then going to the other side just for a second. Then we're gonna go into seated position. I know some of you are standing and slowly come into a seated position. Uh, you can be in a chair or you can uh, be on the floor. The hands are gonna be behind your head. You're gonna lift and I want you to focus on the opening of the rib cage. Exhale to one side, open the chest. Exhale to the other side. And then from here, reach your hands up and bring your right hand behind you. Press your elbow down. Open up further, get into a side bend. And then lift it up another side, side bend. And let's release, I'm way over time. So I'm gonna let you guys go. If you need to keep stretching, please, please do. I'm gonna unmute you. Guys, beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Oh, thank, so much. Thank you. Thank you I'll see you tomorrow for J14. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful Bye. night. Thank you, buddy. Bye, guys.